so guys y'all are welcome back to this channel today we are going to be going to abia state you know a lot of things have been happening in abia state and now we are going to check um what is abia igr revenue for six months under alex otis government you know according to the commissioner of, of finance uh, abia state government has generated 15.5 billion naira in internally generated revenue that's igr between january and june 2024 you know this achievement is a significant milestone for the state government demonstrating its commitment to boosting the state's revenue now look at the highlights you're going to check the commissioner for uh, finance mike apara uh, disclosed that the state uh, recorded uh, a significant increase in its IGR with a total uh, of 15.5 billion operated uh, in six months. Then the government has, has also set a target for itself in monthly revenue generation, aiming to generate 4.3 billion naira revenue monthly and a target of 52. 0.4 billion naira by the end of the year you know the state has also recorded an average of 17 billion in revenue generation for uh, january to date with a slight increase in 2023 when the present administration came in then the commissioner emphasized the importance of understanding income patterns as it uh, can either increase or decrease depending on various factors okay now how abia generated 15.5 billion naira in six months you know this thing is very huge because the abia state government has said that it's recorded about 15.5 billion naira internally generated revenue between january and june that's six months this 2024 that was what the commissioner for finance mr mike abara disclosed on monday at uh, monday's news briefing on the outcome of the state executive council meeting at the government's house in omaya then this abara said that the state had recorded a significant increase in its igr and expressed the light that the figures had continued to you know improve every month now before now they were running at uh, uh, a year to date around 59 percent or 58 percent but as but as, uh, as of today they are now doing 62 percent 62 percent and it is quite different from what they used to get okay the igr got from january to june was 15 billion four hundred and ninety nine million four hundred and eighty two thousand four hundred and fifty six point seventeen naira and as at july 1st to july 6th they got uh, about 17 billion 10 million now other than you know 76 thousand nine uh, 142.34 naira the, that was what the uh, commissioner said he said that from january to date the state has generated an average of 17 billion naira imagine while in 2022 the idr was about uh, 16 uh, billion he also said that uh, in 2023 there was a slight increase there was a slight increase when the present administration came in he said figure showed from significant increase was recorded in the state's igr and this is a whole lot of progress going on in other states because of alex Oti. you know abara said that the monthly average revenue is a crucial metric for understanding income patterns because uh, there are times it could either increase or decrease Yes, the way revenue comes in, you cannot say your IGR will be uh, 3 billion naira. 
there is something called monthly average revenue. If you look at monthly average revenue in June 2023, I mean, in June 23 to June 29, it, it was um, it was it was 2.5 billion naira. You see, it was 2.5 billion naira in June. 23 to June 29 had an average revenue of 2.5 billion naira. That provides a clearer picture of uh, the you know consistent income flow during the, that period. This means that there might be a time when one would uh, do 3 billion naira. There might be a time when one would do uh, 2.1 billion naira. So as of July 1. To July 6th, they were doing 2.7 billion naira as an average, and this indicates that IGR is a, 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 a cyclical, it, it, it is a circle of how it runs. You know, that was part of what Abara said. He said that the government has set a target for itself in monthly revenue generation as an encouragement to boost the state's idea so guys according to him beyond the state's budget the government had given itself the target to generate 4.3 billion naira average monthly and the target of uh, 52.4 billion naira by the end of the year you know that that's the target they gave themselves that's what they are planning to achieve by the end of the year now they have themselves set a target they set his target themselves that is far away from what is in the budget so that it will ginger them to make sure they are uh, that they, they are meeting to target you know to ginger them to make sure they meet to target now in the budget it is not <laughs> what uh, they have but what they are looking up to you know this is to be able to meet uh, the targets the debt in the budget that was what uh, mr abara said also the special advisor to the governor on media and publicity mr Ferdinand ekoma said that the government has set up a multi-purpose tax force as a mechanism to ensure that taxes are paid effectively for the fact that uh, uh, they are they are doing this, it means they are going to experience a consistent increase in revenue generation. So uh, they expect to do they expect to do far better than you know you know we are doing at the moment. They are doing at the moment. That was what Ekoma uh, e e said. So guys, I think we have come to the end of this video. Please. If you are new to this channel, please do well to subscribe, like, and also drop a comment. As you can see, a lot of things are happening in Abia State. I'll bring to you more gist and more happiness that is going on in Abia State. But for now, we have come to the end of this video. Please, if you are new to this channel, please do well to subscribe, like, and also drop a comment below. I'll see you guys in my next video.